Hey there, welcome back to this new tutorial. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. And uh, today we'll be learning to create a simple um, a text, which is a kind of a uh, candy text or whatever you can call that. But I'm just going to call it pop text. Um, so this is what we're going to be creating, a simple reflection. Uh, this is a pretty bad render because I didn't render it with global illumination, but you guys should probably, you know, uh, render it with global illumination. So it's a pretty simple scene, simple uh, modeling. And uh, I've just called it pop because, you know, the color just pops out to me. Or you can call it whatever you want. So uh, let's get started with it. So the first thing I always do is go to my render settings and change it to 1280 by 720. Okay, and then you want to set up our scene first because uh, uh, you know it'll, uh, I just feel it's more comfortable so I'm just gonna go and create a background and I'm gonna go to the color over here and in the color I'm gonna choose the luminance channel and uncheck color and specular and here I'm gonna go and choose a gradient and in the gradient we want a color which is a a color something like that Actually, I have the exact values, which I'll put it up now. So the R, I'm going to set that to 20. The G will be 220. And the B will be 235. I'm going to hit OK. And here, I'm going to set this value to 17. Then 155. And the B will be 240. OK, and we want to set this type to circular. And I'm just going to take this and uh, drop it on the background. That's good. And let's make a camera. And I'm going to look into the camera. So the H rotation will be minus 7. The P will be 3. And the X will be 30. Y will be 30. And the Z will be answer that to minus 700. Okay. And now what I want to do is I want to go and create a me, our spline. And I'm just going to break this down. And I'm going to call this uh, D or D and I'm gonna to go to the object and we're gonna be using a round font so here what I'll be using is uh, where is that is uh, where is it? yes uh, where did that go uh, Bauhaus 93 it's B A U H A U S 93 and I'm just gonna type in D to get that and I'm just gonna set the alignment to middle oh we do not want to move the camera so let's uh, control C look into the camera see the camera settings by sense 3 okay and we want to uh, go away from that view and let's hide the camera so what we want to do is we want to go take a sweep nerves and then you're going to take a circle and we want to set the radius of the circle to 2.5 and we're going to bring that down i'm going to bring the sweep as well so i'm going to put the circle first and then d beside it and uh, that gives us this and then what we want to do is we want to take the sweep we want to duplicate it and bring that down and we want to take this d and we want to move it back okay so we want to give it a z of uh, 35 centimeters okay or actually let's set the z to 30 centimeters okay that looks uh, pretty good so after we we you know do this we want to go and uh, make a certain spline so what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to go and uh, choose a uh, circle spline and uh, we want to set this to x y is z y and we want to scale it down pretty much okay so i'm going to press t and we want to bring that down 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 something like that and let's take the circle and we want to make this uh, editable and we get a lot of points here so what we want to do is we want to have a distance of 35 centimeters from the start to the end so here if i set this to uh, say around uh, let's actually see hold on 
we can take the circle and we can scale it up slowly till we get so we want to set this to say around 70 and 70 and then we can go to the points and we see there's a distance of 35 centimeters but we want a distance of 35 centimeters from the start to the end so not from the to the by mean what I mean by start from the end is from the zero point to here 35 so one more thing we can do is we can go here and set this to uh, 35 by 35 and then we can take it and with 35 centimeters oops minus uh, 35 our center looks good and uh, it shows 17.5 now what we want to do is we want to go and we want to select this and we want to go right click and choose disconnect and then when we delete it oops and we want to delete this and we want to delete this again and now we have this perfect smooth round bevel so I'm just going to call this bevel so then what we want to do is we want to go and grab a sweeteners we want to put the bevel inside and we want to take one of this spline text plan and we want to drop that in and then when we zoom out we don't see anything yes that's because it's like that yes so that is what we're looking for now it looks pretty uh, bad but we are going to fix that so we're going to go uncheck it i'm going to hide these two for a second put the sweep back on and uh, we want to take this bevel and we want to go to set it, select, the, select the axis point and we want to rotate it in such a way like uh, this and uh, then we want it to be like this okay So you get what I'm saying. It looks something like this. Okay. Let me for you guys. Okay. And then we can go and we can put these, put back these splines. And we can take this whole sweep and we can move this in the center like that. Cool. And uh, another thing is we can actually set this line to 35 because that would make complete sense and we can take this sweep and we can move it right in the center there okay so that's what we are looking for it looks pretty cool pretty decent amazing and the last thing we want to cover this up so we're going to be making some caps so I'm going to go du duplicate this text line we're going to go to extrude we're going to take this extrude we're going to drag this in and we're going to set this to probably zero you know and uh, this text coordinates we want to set that to zero and uh, we want to duplicate this in case you want to back one and we want to set this to a 35 so now when we go back it is covered here as well so that is pretty much how you would create these letters and uh, let's get on with the texturing real quick. Actually let's make the lighting first. So I'm just going to make a light and I'm going to go to MoGraph Cloner, choose a cloner. I'm going to drop the light inside the cloner and in the cloner we want to go and set this to radial and we want to set the count to 9 and we want to set the radius to 950. So when we zoom out we get these whole bunch of lights. And we want to add some rotation to the to the uh, uh, clone rights here. So I'm going to set the H rotation to 10. We want to set the P rotation to 150 and the banking to 10. Okay. So give it uh, making it look something like that. And the last thing we want to do is we want to go and choose a plane. And we want to set the width to 700 and the height to 250 
and we're going to set the orientation to plus Z and then we want to take in a bend deformer and drop the bend inside this plane after which we want to set the strength to 25 and we're going to set the mode to unlimited and then we're going to go and uh, set the P rotation to minus 90 and the banking to 90 oops uh, got the wrong way set this to 90 and this to minus 90 what? let's see yeah we want to set this to probably 180 and then we want to move it in such a way that it is you know looking like that and then we want to hide the bend and we want to take the plane we move it a little bit front okay and then we'll go grab a new material and uh, I'm gonna go turn on the luminance and I'm gonna take this drag it on the plane right click cinema 40 tags compositing tag uncheck scene by camera I'm gonna hide this over here okay then we want to choose the light and we want just want to set the intensity to say around 170 that's it then let's uh, create some materials so in this material in the color channel we want to set that to default color reflection we want to add a fresnel and we're going to set the brightness down to 30 and then we're going to go to the specular and we want to set the width to 30 and the height to 80 after which we want to just duplicate this material go into this material and in the color channel we just want to change the color and set this to 240 the G to 0 and the banking to well, let's say bring that down to say around uh, 140 and once that is done we want to go and apply this material right on the center and uh, the white material on this and on everything else probably basically and then let's look back into our camera and uh, I think I'm gonna go to the coordinates and set the P to zero. And uh, let's see the H rotation also. Okay, let's set that to minus seven probably. And let's actually set that to zero. And then we're gonna go take all the sweeps. We're gonna press Alt G, group them into a null. And uh, we want to go and take the anchor point and we want to move the anchor point right in the center and we're going to just give it some rotation. Uh, minus 6 for the H, minus 10 for the P, and uh, minus 3 for the banking. And uh, we want to go uh, to the uh, render settings, check on ambient occlusion, global illumination, set that to low just for the purpose of the render, go to anti aliasing, set that to best. And then let's just make a small render and see what we get. So this is my final render. I mean, you can play around with the lighting, giving a good lighting. You can reduce the reflection on the texture. I just made a st two small adjustments. As I went here to the luminance and set that brightness to 150, and I just took the cloner and set the Z position to minus 100. So uh, it uh, you know bring it out front. You can move it up as well. And you can do a whole lot of stuff. So this is pretty much it for the tutorial, guys. So thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, comment, and any other tutorials you would like me to make, just drop in a comment and I'll be happy to help you out, guys. So till then, see you, good night, and have a great day and enjoy yourself. Bye-bye.